Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives Today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. When Lai enters, Trip and Wendy break off their kiss. He bemoans the fact that his awful date intended to throw him in jail. Sloan is unhappy with Melinda at the club because she made Colin receive a harsh sentence. The DA advises her not to be shocked. Sloan sits but declines the drink offer because she is expecting a child. Eric visits Brady because he is upset over his brother's poor decision to threaten Kristen with a gun. Stylish at the estate, Kristen is pouting over not having a lawyer when Belle enters, worried that Kristen would allow Brady to be imprisoned. Kristen is not concerned. Brady concurs with Eric's judgment that he helped Kristen. Eric may relate to a man's concern for his child. He exhales that he will soon become a father. EJ is pleased as Nicole introduces Dr. Sorensen. Learning the baby's sex is something Nicole rejects. When the female doctor requests to examine him first, EJ is taken aback. Brady learns Sloan is expecting a child. Lady in red, when Melinda finds out Eric is the father, she realizes it wasn't intended. It was, Sloan insists. Melinda calculates and considers having Eric's child since he wasn't Nicole's biological father. Elegant Sloan claims she wants the child because her family is away. She desires to raise a family on her own. Gratz, Melinda says as she takes a sip of her beverage. She acknowledges that she detests being alone herself. Sloan exhorts her to start a family on her own. She had an awful date with Lai last night. It was going well until he realized she was videotaping him. Wendy and Tripp were astonished by Lee's updates on Melinda's shenanigans. Prior to her unauthorized recording, everything was going smoothly. Eric is ecstatic to have a child. Grady cautions him not to put too much stock in Sloane. She is a good girl, in Eric's opinion, to whom awful things happened. The topic of Rachel comes up. Brady dislikes that his daughter reported him to the police after hearing him threaten to shoot her mother. Eric begs him to persuade her to reconsider her mind because he is appalled that he is now being accused of attempted murder. No luck because she's on the team. Her account was verified by Kristen and Kristen. What will happen next? Thanks, Eric. While speaking, Kristen is being courted by Bill. Kristen reminds Bill that she previously declined to assist her. Belle questions what she would gain if Brady were imprisoned. The healer requests a sample of EJ's DNA, but as Dayscape has long stated, in Salem DNA spells are powerful. Not a thing makes sense. The chaos clock is running out of time. Returning to the mansion, Belle contends that Brady would never have killed Kristen and accuses her of inciting him. She disputes having taken Rachel. Belle argues that Rachel needs both parents, so don't say anything that could land Daddy Brady in jail. Eric longs to be able to assist his brother. He's available for anything. Thank you, Brady. Eric must now attend Sloane's initial prenatal visit. Brady is shocked to learn Sloane has offered to be his baby's mother. He concludes that she does love him. She is also adored by Eric. The C word is used by Melinda. Chemistry but all was destroyed by her attempt to coerce Lai into making a confession. Sloan questions why she captured him on camera. Tripp informs Wendy and Lai about Melinda's daughter Haley's passing because he thinks she has been through it a lot. Lee sympathizes, but is still fed up with the DA Nicole questions what they are trying to find. The doctor questions why just Eric Brady underwent testing, while Mr. Demira did not. Pintile Nicole acknowledges that there was a potential Eric was the father, but that EJ didn't need to be tested since his test came back negative. To ensure that the infant is healthy, the doctor is looking for genetic markers. Nicole hesitates but decides to go. Eric suggested that Kristen might alter since he believes Sloan did. Brady thinks that Eric will make the best father. Eric longs to be able to assist him. Regrettably, only Kristen could sort out this situation. Returned to Dimmera Mansion, Belle is reminded by Kristen that Rachel overheard Brady threatening to kill her. Brady was distraught at the time and unsure of the status of his daughter, says Belle. 
Kristen acknowledges that the situation is not straightforward and promises to retract her statement if Brady approves the custody arrangement. Brady tore it up, so Belle will receive a replacement copy. She promises Kristen Brady that she will change her mind. Melinda could not help herself from striving to win. Sadly, after Lai left, she was once more alone and miserable. Sloan describes shrewd, wealthy Lai as a catch. Melinda says the matchmaker has already found a replacement and feels it is a lost cause. They will soon gather here. Liget's moving after meeting a new date. In order to prepare the ultrasound, Dr. Sorensen moves away. EJ and Nick will kiss. He has a baggage sample. Melinda is a bit inebriated. Sloane excuses herself in order to see Eric for a prenatal appointment. They had a good conversation. Melinda chews on an olive. Foodie Wendy can eat Tripp's leftover Primavera pasta. She enjoys it. She regretted learning about Haley and the probes. When she learns that Haley was Tripp's wife, she nearly chokes. Brady learns the wonderful news from Bill. Although he despises having to share custody, he agrees. When Kristen arrives, he is just ready to sign. He determines on the spot that he won't sign until Kristen retracts because he doesn't trust her. She accepts their hardball game. She calls Trask and retracts her statement, saying she was shaken at the moment and exaggerated the situation. Tripp then adds that Haley required a green card, which is why he and Haley got married. They fell in love when they were dating. Wendy regrets that he lost her. They have a sweet kiss after he convinces Wendy that he is happy once more. She needs to return to the workplace. He recommends that they watch a movie or something tonight after his shift. She nods, gives him a kiss, and leaves. She hopes Lai enjoys her date this evening as well. Tripp still thinks he would get along with Haley's mother the best. Melinda phones the matchmaker to inquire about her missed date. When she is instructed to find the man wearing a blue blazer, she unexpectedly notices Spiffy Lai donning one. At the nurse's station, Nickel runs into Eric and informs him about her and EJ's appointment. He is delighted for her. Sloan creeps up and smugly declares that she is also expecting. Nickel's face drops, and EJ wants the doctor to tell him the gender of the child so he can make arrangements. Sadly, she is unable. He smiles saying that if his unborn child were healthy, he would be content enough. The medical professional grinned as well, holding the sample bag with his name written on it. Right now. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.